بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و اسر لی امری و حلل اغضت من لسانی افقہو قولی اسلام علیکم لٹل کیڈز دس اس شیروز عبداللہ اور ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کلاس ٹین فیزیکس لیکچر نمبر ٹو Geometrical objects. Look, if you remember, uh, let me recall the previous work. If you remember in the previous work we have done with what was geometrical optics, what was the historical background of it, right? Which scientists worked on it, laws of reflection and reflection of light. We have discussed there were two laws of reflection we have done with that, right? So this was all about previous work we have done it yesterday. And now today we are going to take start with what is spherical mirrors. You know, uh, uh, spherical mirrors are the part of a shiny spherical shell. We can say also what are spherical mirrors. Look, the part of a shiny spherical shell is known as spherical mirrors. We can also say that the section of a hollow spherical shell, this is also known as spherical mirrors now there are two things you know the section of a hollow spherical shell whose inner or outer part may be polished or silver for reflection of light that is known as spherical mirrors in other words we can say that if we, if we have a spherical hollow spherical shell we either polish or silver one side or other side so this may work as a spherical mirrors Okay, uh, we can define it like this. The section of a shiny smooth spherical shell is known as spherical mirrors. You know, for example, this is a whole spherical shell. I have considered this small portion into it. Like I have taken this portion out of it. Look, this is what? This is section of a small uh, a sphere shaped into a mirror, right? This red line shows you like a, a, a sh a sh a shiny part or silver part. We can also say that the part of a spherical shell with its inner or outer surface polished or silvered to reflect the light is known as reflection of light. Now look, there are two uh, types of mirrors, concave mirror and convex mirrors, right? Uh, look, what is concave mirror? Concave mirror is that mirror whose inner side is polished and outer side is rough. That is known as concave mirror. Look, this lining side, uh, this lining side shows you rough side, while the inner portion shows you shiny side. Do remember one thing: concave, concave mirror is also known as converging mirror. Concave mirror, other name is what? Converging mirror. Why we call it converging mirror? Because this mirror has the ability to reflect the light or to to con uh, to convert the light on a single point uh, that is why they are called converging mirror if parallel beam of light comes on the concave mirror after reflecting with the concave mirror shiny surface they gather at a single point that's why we call it what we call it concave mirror or in other words we say converging mirror now what can be the best example inner shiny surface of the spoon this is the example of concave mirror now do remember the uh, focus mean focus of concave mirror is on the front side like how let me show it to you look this is what this is a concave mirror right this is rough side and this portion is shiny side the incident beam of light are coming towards it right and it is striking after striking they gather at a single point like this point f they that they the, the rays after reflection gathers assembles since this concave mirror has the ability to gather or converge the light rays after reflection on a single point that is why they are called converging mirrors okay do remember the focus of uh, concave mirror is real what does it mean look uh, focus of concave mirror is real it means that uh, uh, since in concave mirror the light falls on the mirror and after falling they they are intersected really means the point capital F is formed after the real intersection of lines real intersection of lines that is why it has a real focus and that is why the image formed by the concave mirror is also real look image formed by concave mirror it is also real why because it is formed by the intersection of real lines that is why the image formed by concave mirror is real do remember one thing focal length of uh, concave mirror is always taken as positive now what is convex mirrors look 
convex mirrors are the opposite of concave mirrors in convex mirrors what happened the inner side is rough and outer side is polished in convex mirrors what happened inner side is actually rough while outer side is polished convex mirrors are also known as diverging mirrors they are also known as what they are also known as diverging mirrors why because these has the ability to diverge the to spread to diverge the beam of light when they are striking on the shiny surface look what ha what ha what is the ability of convex mirrors the ability of convex mirrors is that when beam parallel beam of light falls on the convex mirrors after reflection they are spread in different direction it has it is diverged in multi direction that is why they are known as diverging mirrors right the best example of diverging mirrors are what back side of shining uh, shiny spoon right okay focus of uh, convex mirror are behind the mirrors focus of convex mirrors are behind the mirrors what does it mean it means that look this is convex mirrors Ray, this is shiny side this is rough side rays are coming from that side and striking to the shiny side of it since this is diverging mirror so after Inter after falling on the shiny side the rays move to the multi direction when it moves to the multi direction mean they are not intersecting with each other what we have to do the rays are coming like this and they are reflecting in multi direction or spread out or diverge what we do we intersect we 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 stretch the lines backward towards the rough surface we stretch the lines backward towards the rough surface look we are stretching the lines like this okay we are stretching it like this and we have found that they are going to intersect each other on the rough side right so focus will be behind the mirror look on the rough side the focus will be okay now the image formed by uh, convex mirror is also virtual why we call it virtual because it is not formed by the intersection of real lines but it is formed by the stretching of lines backward or back side behind the uh, rough like uh, on the rough side on rough side we stretch the lines back that is why it is called as virtual focus right convex mirror has virtual focus why because the because the image formed by convex mirror are not formed by intersection of real lines but they are formed by stretching the rays back side towards the rough side that is why it its its image is what virtual okay do remember one thing focal length of convex mirror is always taken as negative now image formed by focal uh, by convex mirror is what virtual we have explained all these terms now we are uh, going to discuss what are terms associated with spherical mirrors the terms associated with spherical mirrors okay uh, you know uh, first of all we have to discuss what is spherical mirrors we have already discussed with that right now in spherical mirrors look and uh, this is we are having a spherical mirror we have considered a spherical shell like this now we have to explain which of the things are responsible to explain spherical mirrors there are a lot of things look first of all we have a spherical shell it has some specific center that is known as center of curvature represented by c center of curvature represented by c what is c the geometrical center of the hollow spherical shell is known as what center of curvature that is represented by c second is principal axis principal axis is the straight line which passes through center of curvature look this red line x y shows you principal axis why because this is a straight line passing through center of curvature okay next we are having radius of curvature you know radius of curvature is the distance between this point pole and center of curvature this is represented by green line r over here radius of curvature since it's a distance unit will be in meters right so distance between c and this p is known as what radius of curvature next is pole what is pole the center of a spherical the center of a mirror i'm not talking about whole spherical shell because center of whole spherical shell is center of curvature now i am talking about pole pole is what pole is different for uh, concave mirror different for convex mirror Conca uh, concave mirror has its own pole convex mirror has its own pole pole is represented by p 
pole can be defined as the central part of the mirror like this is the mirror concave mirror this is the central part of it this will be termed as pole right okay now how would we define center of curvature we can say that the center of a hollow spherical shell is known as center of curvature what is pole the central part is the center the, the center of mirror is known as pole okay uh, what is aperture aperture means the area exposed to the light the mirrors that area which is exposed to the incident incident light known as what aperture it is represented by mm dash right like in this is in concave this is concave mirror this inner part is exposed to the incident ray incident light so this portion is known as what aperture it is represented by m dash m m dash similarly for convex mirror also the outer portion is exposed to the incident ray so that is known as aperture represented by m m dash now what is the relation between focal length and radius of curvature do remember one thing the relation between focal length and radius of curvature is that focal length is half of the radius of curvature focal length is half of the radius of curvature uh, uh, for concave mirror it is f is equal to r by 2 for convex mirror it is f is equal to minus r by 2 look is it clear till here i hope so it's uh, no problem we have right okay so this was all about today's lecture then okay uh, now we uh, are going to uh, recall now we are going to uh, summarize today's work what we have done today look uh, to, in today's work we have discussed spherical mirrors what was spherical mirrors spherical mirror was a section of a hollow spherical shell whose inner or outer surface may be polished may be silvered known as spherical mirrors okay uh, this was spherical mirrors we have okay we have discussed that we have two types of uh, spherical mirrors concave mirror and convex mirrors concave mirror are that mirror whose inner surface is polished and outer is rough it is also known as converging mirror why because it has the ability to converge the light rays after reflection with concave mirror on a single common point that is why they are called concave mirrors the inner shiny surface of the spoon is the best example of concave mirrors uh, the concave mirror uh, focus is uh, real why because it is formed by the intersection of real lines okay now look this is concave mirror the incident rays are coming like this they are striking with the mirror after uh, striking they are reflected and meets at a single common point that is why we which is called focus which is called principal focus or our focus both we can we can say okay uh, concave mirror has a real focus why because it is formed by the intersection of the real lines focal length of concave mirror is positive similarly now coming towards uh, convex mirrors now uh, uh, do remember one thing image formed by concave mirror is always what image formed by concave mirror is always real now we are coming towards convex mirrors convex mirrors are those mirrors whose inner surface is polished inner surface is rough outer is polished they are also known as diverging mirrors okay back side of shiny uh, uh, back side of shining spoon is the best example of convex mirrors the focus of convex mirror is always behind the behind the mirror means it is on the rough side okay now look uh, this is a convex mirror we have that is the shiny side this lining side is known as rough side the rays are coming like this it is diverged in multi direction look since after striking with convex mirror the rays are diverged in multi directions it has the property to diverge the beam of light so what we do they they are not beating each other what we do we are we, we are we are getting getting it uh, intersect on one side so we will stretch the rays back side on on rough side so we will stretch all the rays on back side and they will meet at one point that is capital f that point is known as principal focus or focus of convex mirrors and the focus of convex mirror is on the on which side on rough side okay do remember one thing focal length of convex mirror is always taken as negative and finally the image formed by uh, by image formed by convex mirror is virtual why what is virtual virtual means that image which is not formed by the intersection of real lines but it is formed by stretching the rays backward towards the rough side 
that is why we call it virtual okay now there were some terms we have discussed that uh, uh, that was associated with spherical mirrors the first was center of curvature center of curvature was the center of spherical hollow shell is known as center of curvature was represented by c then we were having principal axis the straight line passing through center of curvature x y known as principal axis then we have pole pole is the center of mirror it can be of concave as well it can be of convex as well both mirror have its own poles there is a difference between pole and center of curvature look pole is only the center of a specific mirror it is represented by p while center of curvature c it is the center of whole spherical shell that is why it is represented by c okay now uh, principal axis we have done what is radius of curvature the distance between center of curvature and pole like the distance between center of curvature and pole is known as radius of curvature what is focal length focal length is actually a distance between uh, this is between this principal focus to this pole like this principal focus to this pole it is represented by small f focal length is represented by small f focal length is what the distance between principal focus to pole what is focal length focal length it is represented by small f focal length is actually a distance between uh, principal focus f and pole p it is represented by small f similarly with the concave mirror uh, conca convex mirror also principal focus capital f and p this distance is known as what a focal length focal length now we are going to discuss what is the relation between focal length and radius of curvature do remember one thing focal length is half of the radius of curvature for concave mirror it is small f is equal to capital r by 2 while for uh, uh, for concave mirror it is small f is equal to r by 2 while for convex it is small f is equal to minus r by 2 okay so this was all about today's lecture hope you have enjoyed the lecture thanks for watching allah hafiz fi amanallah